Here are the top five stories you need to know about this Friday morning. We are following breaking news. The search is on for a gunman after an early morning deadly shooting in Tehama County. Diego Moctezuma is live at the scene on Ventura Avenue in Gerber. Diego, what have you learned? Kelly, one man was shot and killed in front of this home. Now you can see this is still in an active scene. Tehama County Sheriff deputies are investigating the home right now. Now around 1 a.m. this morning, one man was shot and killed. The other man shot was taken to the hospital. He is the homeowner of this house. Now we don't know if he is okay yet. There's at least one suspect still on the loose. Uh, they tell me there were multiple shooters but they do not have anybody in custody at this time. Both victims are no longer on scene and we're still working to find out more details. Back to you, Kelly. Today, this man, Asadi Coleman, will be sentenced for the deadly Greyhound bus shooting in Oroville in 2022. The jury found him guilty of second degree murder on April 18th and one of four counts of attempted murder. Coleman opened fire on a Greyhound bus as it stopped in Oroville. Coleman shot and killed Karen Dalton. DA Mike Ramsey said he expects Coleman to be sentenced to 74 years to life in prison. New this morning, a Sacramento man is behind bars in Shasta County after a speeding stop led officers to the discovery of warrants and guns in the vehicle. Frank Williams was arrested along Interstate 5 near Riverside Avenue by Anderson police early Thursday morning. Officers say they found two loaded guns. One of them had been reported stolen from Portland, Oregon. Today, a Reading woman accused of embezzling nearly $80,000 while managing Airbnb properties will be arraigned in Shasta County. 34-year-old Kylie Carreras was arrested in April. The Shasta County DA filed felony embezzlement charges against her. She allegedly embezzled the money through her business managing Airbnbs for property owners between July of 2022 and December of 2022. Her arraignment is today at 8.30. And a father faces charges of kidnapping his own child in Tehama County. Jonathan Bradley Sr. was arraigned yesterday. He is charged with three felony counts stemming from him taking his son from a home in Red Bluff. Bradley did not have custody of the child. On Saturday, an Amber Alert was issued to local counties about the boy being missing. He was found 